All right, folks, another unboxing video. This this one is freaking heavy, so I'm assuming this is my chainsaw blades. So let me cut the side open, and then we will uh, pull it out. All right. All right, so I got the side open. Let me get these out of here. And, uh, uh, and surprised they shipped this in a uh, bubble envelope, but... All right, so these are uh, a three-pack that I got on the Amazon. Walmart and the Amazon are like my two favorite places to, sh to shop. Um, they pretty much got everything. Can't say they always have the best deals. We'll throw a new egg in there. Uh, once in a blue moon. Best Buy. So those are my, I think my top four favorite shopping places. All right. But, uh, hell, you go to Home Depot, uh, another favorite place to shop in person, not online, and try and buy this chain. I think it's like freaking $20. The, um, the more well-known brand name we'll say uh, I got a three pack of these for $30 I believe I also had to pay for shipping um, so it might have cost me 35 in total but um, if these work out which I'm assuming they will I read the reviews that they were gonna be good um, we should save some money in the long run um, if not I will, uh, I'll write a negative review about it. So, that's the way that goes. But, uh, I'm, they look pretty good, you know. I, uh, I will be installing it on my, uh, what is it, Poulon Pro 20 inch. And I've got another one I just bought. I've been using a uh, 16 inch that I also have an 18 inch, uh, whatchamacallit for the blade. But, uh, there's a close-up of it, and uh, what I would expect is this is going to be a cheaper, we'll say cheaper metal, softer metal, um, than what you have with your, uh, that comes with your chainsaw, so you'll probably be sharpening it more, it might, it might be easier to actually sharpen uh, for that matter, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. I'm expecting it to go dull faster, and uh, hopefully it'll be easier to, to sharpen in the long run, but you never know. So, uh, they do give you some safety advice here, which is nice stuff that if you are using a chainsaw, um, you should uh, definitely do these. And uh, use a chainsaw is kicked with a kickback reducing device with a low kickback chain. Well, hopefully this is a low kickback chain. Keep the chain sharpened to specifications. Maintain correct chain tension. Keep the chain well lubricated. So one thing that I heard about this one is, you know, when you first use it, that it it uh, really stretches out fast. So that's one thing I hate about chainsaw blades. Always hold the saw firmly with two hands. That's not always easy to do, folks, i got to say. Um, actually that should say, always hold the running saw firmly with two hands. Cut wood while the engine is at full throttle. Do not cut with the tip of the saw. Do not stand directly behind the saw. So those are upstart components. And in case I didn't note it, upstart components saw chains. So thank them for supplying such a good deal on a chainsaw. And you can almost feel the lubrication on that. It's like it's on the bag. Uh, 